Hey, Saab fans, good to see you again. Project 91 getting this turbo convertible ready for sale. The top is in generally pretty good shape, but this rear window, it shows every bit of its 30 plus years. So it has got to go. The convertible top is generally in pretty good shape and I don't know its history, but I gotta believe that it was replaced somewhere along the line. But this rear window, no, it's a total mess. You can see that the uh, cannabis is rotted and it's become unsealed. Somebody had tried to repair it with duct tape over the time. Pretty common, but uh, time to replace it. Saab started building convertibles for the 1986 model year and then went on to crank out 48,000 worldwide. The last of the classic ragtops was built as a 1994 model. Convertibles were not built in Sweden. All the convertibles and some other special models were built at a Saab plant in Valmut, Finland. Our 1991 model's rear window, or curtain as it's called, is secured to the rest of the folding top with a zipper. Well, that went a lot easier than I expected. So the zipper holds the uh, window in from the top and across the bottom it's just held in place by you know a row of staples so the next step is a lot of slow tedious work here to pull these staples out because i had a replacement window curtain stashed away from a previous project i hoped it would be a direct fit into project 91. but the pitch the the, the size of the teeth on this zipper are much larger so I've got two different zippers here. The zipper that was in the car, the 91 top, is a, a much finer pitch. The, the teeth are just, a, the teeth of the zipper are a lot closer together than in this car. I took both windows to an auto upholstery shop and they were able to sew the newer zipper onto the older window, 85 bucks and we were good to go. So uncovering another problem here, uh, always something interesting working on old cars, right? So this uh, surface that you staple into to secure the top on this side, it's made out of a, a thick plastic kind of stuff that's all broken in this corner. The rest of it's in pretty good shape. So I think uh, we're gonna mix up a little epoxy and just repair that and get that back in place. There's plenty of area here to sort of staple into once we get that repaired. So that'll be next. Okay, so with our replacement window now back from an upholstery shop where they uh, put in the appropriate zipper so that it would match the finer tooth pattern, uh, it's time for this window to go back in place. I'm gonna pull out and reposition these because I've got a little wrinkle right here that I don't like. Yeah. We've got a full row of stainless steel staples now in place and I'll just uh, put this little trim piece back in and that will wrap up this repair. So it sure looks a heck of a lot better, right, than having a bunch of duct tape back here and it should be water tight. We still have more to do to get this car ready to hit the market and I hope you'll be with us. We'll see you next time.